The way a person treats their friends says a lot about their character. I'm not talking about false friends. I'm not talking about those people who really aren't your friends. I'm talking about the people who are loyal to you, who do everything for you. Imagine if you had a friend who broke his back day and night doing everything possible so you could achieve your biggest life's dream. And then you did achieve your biggest life's dream due to that friend's hard work. A decent, respectable person would be very grateful to that person. There would be no way they could ever repay them. I personally would feel very grateful. But what would Barack Obama do? Tom Daschle broke his back day in and day out. So Barack Obama could be elevated to the highest office in the world. Barack Obama won the election because of Tom Daschle's hard work. And then it came out that Tom Daschle wasn't filling out his income tax forms correctly. So Obama said, fuck that. Forget about you. I don't care what you did about you. I care about me. You're just means to an end, Tom. Means to an end. I'll throw you away in the trash can, Tom. I wonder if he even associates, even talks to Tom Daschle anymore. To provide a contrast to this was something I read in a book about by a guy named Tom something. It was about the third party governor of Minnesota we had. The book was talking about how one of his people got in trouble for something. Most politicians would be real weenie. Certainly Barack Obama would be. He can't let anything get in his ambitious way. The book, just, the book says something to the effect that lack of loyalty is not one of Jesse Ventura's faults. He talked about how he fought even though it was politically unwise to do so. It's great to fight for your people. And in general, Jesse Ventura demonstrated how a person didn't have to go by political conventions. In politics, there's a lot of conventional wisdom that says you can't be a real person, you can't have these great values, you can't think for yourself and succeed. The genius of his campaign was he did the opposite. He did everything all these other people try to avoid. He talks about his faults openly. He says what he wants to say. And people love that. So there's no excuse for what Barack Obama did to one of his friends. If you need another reason to not like this guy, that is a reason. Tom Daschle must feel like shit. <laughs>